Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Yukir tribe. And we are back again. I'm very sorry it's been a little bit, you guys. As you saw in the last video and with the last comments, I'm not doing the best with my health right now, but I promise you guys I'm going to be trying my best to get back on top of the daily niche adventures. Not only is it so much fun to see what the Yukir tribe will do, but holy moly, you guys have been blowing me away with your role plays and the comments and the amazing fan art that's been coming in on Twitter and our fan mail Gmail and even just wait until I show you guys into the P.O. box. There's a statue and I cannot wait to show off that statue in an upcoming snail mill. Let's just say it blew my mind and I'm very excited and so, so eager to share more niche adventures. So we're diving into the Akira tribe today and we're over here with Azar, who managed to find the mammoth foot creature. It is the mammoth foot, but I think her gene is actually called like the mammoth foot. So let me find it. Yeah, mammoth. So it's like M-A-M-M-U-T, mammoth foot, uh, mammoth foot even. And it's really awesome, but I agree with a lot of you guys. I'm not sure if it's something we'll go out of our way to breed in. However, I do absolutely adore that this beautiful creature who we had named Yukiar, um, she looks kind of like a polar bear, doesn't she? Isn't that just amazing? I really think that that's pretty cool. And a lot of you were very thoughtful in your analysis of which of the prehistoric genes are worth struggling to really breed into our family group because they are very, um, they're very hard to keep as the dominant genes in the gene pool. And you really have to do a lot of interbreeding and specific breeding to retain them as we know from our struggles with the family tree and getting that gorgeous armored body up and going really takes a while. You have to do a lot of work to be able to get to that point and so a lot of you guys have been wondering what should we do with um the mammoth foot oh my gosh it kind of oh my gosh it does look pretty awesome especially because we are going to be leaving this island now and going to an easier area where we can focus on trying to gently weave together the genetics and grab some food before continuing to have future generations search out, search out even these snowy islands and find those genetics that are still out there waiting for us to discover for the first time. So I renamed Yukiar to Anka because I feel like that just fits her a lot better. I've actually been thinking a lot about her. I'm very surprised at how much of my thoughts she's been taking up over the last couple days. And I think she's very shy. And I think that she's definitely worth trying to breed into our group, but we're going to just casually see if the Mammut Foot uh, manages to make its way into the family tree and Instead of going out of our way to really breed Maddox and to make sure that as many of our creatures have armored body uh, either like in their genetics or as their dominant trait as possible. We're just going to casually have Anka, if she manages to find someone that she falls in love with within our tribe, have some children, and then we'll see what happens. Like, maybe the mammoth foot will just, like, show up out of the blue sometimes. That would be pretty cool. So that's my plan there. I also think Anka is very, very shy, and she's not really sure of what to do. Very disoriented. After all, she was just popped out of a giant block of ice. And she's very grateful to Azir, but she doesn't know, like, it's not instant love the way it was with Kois, who so many of you have totally fallen for. I am in love with how many of you guys love Kosi. She has already gotten like her own little fan club. That's super amazing. You guys love that she and Zafira happen to be nest sisters and the nest sister thing has come back. And we're going to be uh, keeping them together as nest sisters and helping to scooch everybody down to this spot. Now our goal is to get Azar and Anka across the island and over here because there's 15 plorts here. F plorts? Plots. 15 plots. And so we can take 15 creatures with us. And I want to take the entire tribe we currently have to a new land so that we can really hunker down and focus on gathering as much food as possible. And we can give them the opportunity to breed up as many creatures as we need and not have to worry too much about it to get that really cool hammer tail in there and to try to get some more of the really positive traits that we want in the family tree. Like the armored body. Because with the armored body we could go to the jungle and not even have to worry about the apes. That would be amazing. And that armored body is also what gives everybody so much confidence to face down predators. Whereas like Kosi is traditionally from a tribe who really tries to get away from everybody but uses their tail as like a last last defensive measure. She's a lot shyer and a lot more timid and a lot more jittery around a lot of the predators because she's soft and squishy and can be eaten. Whereas creatures like Ame 
mm, or Amy even, don't have to worry so much about that because they've got that awesome armored body. So yeah, that's our that's our plan. That's our plan. And now we just need to get everybody. Oh man, and I'm so in love with Black Rose the second, who had amnesia and doesn't remember her past, but it does seem like she is from either the same or a very similar tribe as Kosi. It'd be very interesting if they were actually from two enemy tribes, but have found themselves hundreds of years later reunited unexpectedly. And Black Rose doesn't remember that, but I wonder if Kosi will start treating her oddly because of it. So hmm, the drama of it all. But alright, enough drama and more moving- oh, get away from our baby's bird. More moving towards the other side of the island. So we're gonna start scooching this way. Oh, hello little bun bun. It does look like Anka, where do you come- where do you get your strength from? From her medium body, if we wanted we could get this rabbit. Um, but I think it's more important just to get them all moving to the other side to be honest. All right, and then down here we have Glacier. He has his pregnant mate, Zafira. Zafira can actually have one more baby, so I'm gonna have her go ahead and have the next child. And Glacier is going to start moving this way, bringing Black Rose the second with him. There we go. And then we'll get his son, Budo, Glacier's eldest son, down here. And Budo will have just met Black Rose. If that ends up being a thing or not, we'll have to see. They don't share any genetics, so that definitely could be a thing. That would be a really nice thing, actually. And uh, we, uh, somebody did point out we do have a lot of blind eye recessives starting to pop into the family tree. We will probably do something about that by putting in, I'm going to swap in like the normal eyes. Let's keep antlers because I think antlers on our creatures look really cool. So we'll do that. I wonder if when they come out with the flying creatures, by the way, just as an aside, we're going to get like new eyesight so that your eyes, because that's one of the few things we haven't really expanded on. We have short sighted eyes and blind eyes and normal eyes, but I wonder when we get to the winged creatures, because that was a Kickstarter goal that was reached, if like hawk eye, where you have really good eyesight for seeing far away, I wonder if that might become something. That would be really cool. And I wonder if you'll get talons. <gasps> that would be really cool too. Kind of like claws, except maybe it like increases your strength, but slows you down um, on land or something. Man, I can't wait to see all of the future of Niche. It's gonna be so much fun to see where it goes. But all right, let's see. So Black Rose and Budo just met. And then Kosi would probably stay pretty close by. Well, she could start moving down here because Zafira will be able to protect little baby Ta Ta Ta, whose name, he is a troublemaker, whose name is going to stay Ta 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 because, oh my gosh. And then, oh, I forgot we can't collect from any twigs. That's kind of annoying. I think Kosi's nervous, but she's coming over to smell the bright colored grass because there she was told that's what the tribe's next plan is. But Ame probably knows she's kind of scared about, the oh my gosh, Mwah! there's food. Food on the hoof. That's a lot of food, actually. That's like 30 food. Can I get that food? Oh my goodness. Um, Ame. Oh my gosh, he's stuck between a couple of rocks. That's really, that's quite useful for us. If I can just like, if can I, can I eat you please, sir? Because you would be a lot of delicious, delicious food that could really help my tribe out. That would be very convenient of you. Um, let's see. Maybe I can manage to pull this off. Okay. All right. Almost. All right, uh, can I trap him between these rocks? All right, Ame, can you get him, Ame? Can we get him trapped? Oh my gosh, could I trap him and so he couldn't move? <gasps> Quickly, no, stop him. Chase him back towards, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, all right, maybe this is worth not having. Okay, and then can I trap him somehow if I get enough of my creatures around him? <gasps> maybe, oh my gosh, you guys. Let's try trapping him between these rocks and all of our creatures. I don't know if that can happen, but we could take out our first walrus deer thing. Oh no, a baby is undefended. What have I done? <gasps> oh no, ride you, ride you. Stay strong, don't get eaten. Oh, thank goodness he didn't get eaten. Oh, hey, back off you. Okay, that guy was coming for our food. All right, Kosi is trying to chase, trying to chase this guy uh, back towards our little corner. Winda. All right, Kosi, come on, Kosi. All right, we've, we we can get him in there. We can we can chase him in. All right, I don't want to waste like tons and tons of moves trying to hunt him, but this is really fine. Oh my goodness gracious! What? I'm not. He has defense or something. Lakila, why can't you attack him? Lakila, you have no strength. What? What is this silliness? Oh, and Black Rose is older than Budo. Oh, I didn't know that. 
All right, can I can I get him? All right, well that was pretty useful. All right, Budo can come down here, I guess. Budo, let's get the food. It's loads a lot of food on the hoof. I want to eat him. All right, can we get him? Oh my goodness, he's hard to get, guys. I don't think we'll be able to get him, but what a fun thing to let occupy the family's time while we're working everybody. All right, oh, did he just, what? What the heck? Where'd he go? What is this nonsense? How do you hide a walrus deer in giant grasses? All right, can we grab that food? Glacier, should you grab that food? We're okay, we're, we're kind of okay on food right now. The baby's undefended, what have I done? What have I done? Oh my gosh. I don't know if older babies are like big enough to like protect younger babies. Oh gracious, I hope so. The rest of the family is just like all excited. That makes sense that poor Tata -ta, ta would be, what, what happened? Why are you, oh, he's so sick because he's so cold. Oh, we need to warm him up. That's not what I wanted to happen. It's just, oh, there it is again. The whole family has gotten so distracted by chasing down this walrus deer because it sounds like delicious food. Oh gosh, all right, come on, Izir. No collecting things. You guys are just gonna head straight this way. You're passing up possible food sources, but that's okay, because we're trying to get towards this side. Walrus deer, the great walrus deer hunt is upon us. This is gonna go down in Yukir tribe lore forever. The baby survived, thank goodness. I don't think it'd be good if Ta 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 died. The, the rebirth of Ta Ta. All right, nope, stop that nonsense. Get back over there. That's right. No, wrong direction. Wrong direction, little guy. Oh, there's a whole crabbit all of a sudden. All right, come on. Hey, get out of the water. <laughs> I think he's cheating. This isn't fair. The walrus deer should should focus on. Oh man. All right. I don't know if we'll be able to get him. Kunu can move it. Holy moly, Kunu. What kind of movement do you have? He's got like four movement. Um, I wonder if I if I put him over here, can we get the walrus deer back up on land? Hey you, all right, one attack there. Oh, he disappeared again. Oh, there he is again. How do you hide a walrus deer in the grass like that? And little ta 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 is probably like, holy. It just appeared right over his little head. All right, let's see. There we go, there's another one. There's another one, doing pretty good, come on. Oh my gosh, okay, I don't think the great walrus deer hunt is going to end with a lot of food, but at least we're giving it a good go. And this is actually kind of a lot of fun. No, get back over here. Get back over here, Walrus Deer. There we go. This is kind of fun to just to, like distract everybody for a little while. All right. Because we have the food to waste and we're just kind of like spinning our wheels for a moment while time passes and we're working on getting Azar and Anka over to the other side. So they're going to come down and he'll have been telling the, her all about like how safe their tribe is and how hard they work and then everybody's going to be super distracted chasing down a walrus deer. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I, we hear him. All right. Come on, Kosi. All right. Come on, get him. All right. Everybody get him. All right. How do we... Let's... That's right. Another one. Jump over here. Oh, he got through the hot spring. I wasn't... I wasn't anticipating that. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, look at him. Are we actually gonna have a deer for dinner? All right, let's chase him over this way. Nope, dang it, he's getting away. Cozy, chase him back this way. Chase him back the other way. Oh my gosh, we might get him. That would be so fun. Come on, chase him, chase him this way. Oh gosh, we're really not doing very good there. Ah, oh, why did I use the one who can't like actually do any damage? Dang it, Wolverine deer, stop swimming. Karami, stop dying! Why are you so old? I don't remember telling you to be old. Oh, and even Budo can't get him. And Tata -ta, ta is just like, look at him. He's escaping. He's escaping us. Uh, Wendia, let's just go ahead. You can focus on gathering up this grass. Karami, you can't even attack him, Karami. All right, can we get him? Don't drown. Nobody drowned. All right, so I think we're gonna have to give up on the Great War of Steer Hunt, but man, that's really fun. All right, and Azir has just gotten down here. I think Anka may have started to fall for him over during the course of their very long trials. Oh gosh, here we go. No, a leech, Kunu. All right, let's see. Can I get him? Anka, you are the Lakila. You are not helping. All right, let's see. Budo, can we? Oh man. 
how do we convince the walrus deer to get out of the water? That's the question. He's like playing around in the in the water and like, no, you can't get me. All right, let's see. Everybody start moving this way, please. It's time to go. We have Anka with us. All right, let's see how far I can get Azar. Can I get him into the tiles? Almost. So I think Anka is very shy. Doesn't really know what to make of all of this hubbub. Everybody was running around trying to collect things. So maybe she would, there we go, just become expectant, just because that would be a good idea. Black Rose, meanwhile, would go ahead and remove that from Kunu, and I wonder if that might give Kunu a bit of a crush on her. It just may, it just may. The exciting Wooler's Deer Hunt, and Kunu actually has recessive hammer tail. That would be pretty cool. So, you know what, maybe Black Rose and Kunu will just go ahead and casually, I think that they might have a thing. We'll pretend that romance lasts a little bit longer than it just did because um, because they're going to be working towards... Where the heck did that go? Ah, I can't believe he's stuck to the water to escape us. We'll pretend that romance lasted a little bit longer than it actually did because we'll say that they, they spent time getting to know each other while moving to the next island. All right, so we're getting everybody over. It's going to take just a minute. <laughs> gonna take just a minute to get comfy, get settled. Everyone's kind of like just moving some grass away. Very close-knit family in the end, if you really think about it. All right, come on, ta-ta-ta. -ta -ta. You go ahead and mom's gonna put you right in front of her. And then Zafira needs to hurry and get to the next island. She's getting much older, so she definitely needs to settle in place and get ready to have some babies. There we go. All right, so water steer, you will manage to escape us this time. But it was really fun while it lasted. Holy moly. Hey, back off, Birdo. We don't have any babies for you to get. You may see pregnant creatures, but that doesn't mean you can you can eat their babies. All right, so we're going to scooch in. Everybody is going to get in. Raiju, get in. Let's see. Black Rose, go ahead and get comfy. Kunu, pop on in. I really hope I have everybody. Is this all? Nice. All right. And Karami, you can go ahead and be the one to jump us to the next land. Look at that, guys. So the walrus deer managed to get away from us. I don't think it's worth it. We wasted a lot of time we could have been using to collect food. But next time, we'll try to surround him with enough creatures early on. But that was really, really cool to be able to chase him down. So let me make sure I have everybody. Do we have all 14? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It feels like counting preschoolers to like make sure they're all there. Whew. All right. And I think I'll go ahead and we'll let Windia go lead us to the next land. So... We do need to name this island, though. If you guys have some cool names for this island, it is going to go down forever in the Yukir family history. And we will always remember this place as the place that we brought three new members of our tribe in from the Icy Blocks, where we also met the Hammertail and we met the Mammutfoot. So we're going to go ahead and see what the next place has for us. Oh, holy days, this is so beautiful. I really am a big fan of the Winter Islands. This is, this is quite lovely. All right, and Windia, why don't you go ahead, my dear? Actually, I'll have Kunu do it because then Windia has two moves on the next land. And we're gonna travel to the next island. And somewhere out there will hopefully be a place that we can let our family settle in, get comfortable, have lots of happy, healthy babies, breed in the new hammertail trait, and maybe even the mammut foot, and then eventually head back to another, oh, is this actually, whoa, nice, look at this. The temperature has gone up, no, no, no telling that, huh? All right, so we've got a whole different kind of island to hang out on for a little while. Very open grasslands with lots of trees. Now that we have armored body, I'm really not that concerned about a lot of things in life. And so what I think we'll do is we will probably move the family, hmm. Probably move the family over towards this port where there's a whole bunch of happy flowers because that means that it'll be a peaceful island. But the entire point of doing that is we're going to let the family have a little bit of a break to be able just to savor life and have a good time. And then they will breed up lots of babies. We'll get those important genes into the family tree. And then, uh, what do you guys think? Should we go jungle port? Or should we port or should we go flower port? Port? I've been thinking of slime rancher too much. Port. There we go. So should we go flower or jungle? And we're not gonna stay there. Once we're once we jump, we're going to go straight to the next snow island and continue the search for snowy lands. 
but I'm kind of leaning towards the flower one, just just cause, but maybe going to the jungle one and being able to just dominate the jungle with our armored body would be pretty cool too. But it's gonna hit a bit of a peaceful moment. Who knows what surprises may come upon us on this new land. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.